Hi, it's Luna, aka your local cobbled. Hello! So yeah, today we're gonna be checking out a new location in uh, Sonic Frontiers. We're at the volcano. And for some reason my control feels a little bit sluggish. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm just forgetting. <laughs> Hello to Z. Hoi hoi! Yeah, it's been a hot minute since we played this last time, hey? <laughs> Feeling slightly rusty. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just like, spend some time getting rid of the controls, but like until then, like how's everyone doing? Oh? Hey. Wait for him to stop spinning. Nice. Ah, uh, that's a bunch of XP. We need like a heck ton of XP. I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling a little bit exhausted, but like, heckin' I'm gonna do a stream, damn it. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to come out the ground when I did that. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting there to be like items or something to come out, but no, it's just like, here, have an entire speed boost. What is that? <laughs> Spiders? Hi, hi, everyone. Hello, 11p5. Congratulations on officially being first in the stream, and thank you for your wisdom. Ah, oh, heck. This thing's gonna be hard. It music's great, though. Listen to that. <laughs> Evening, and Matt want to check the stream title. I misread that as Satanic Plus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's great. <laughs> Satanic plus volcano. <laughs> yeah, just gonna build up a few rings here for a second just so we can get that buff. Premium version of Satan, Satan plus. <laughs> right, how do we do this? I'm guessing we do this. Oh, that hit it. Yes. That that seemed to do damage. Oh, do we need to hit all of them at once? No, that's not gonna work. Hmm. The hecking cool boss fight though. Wait, what the so it's legs now stuck in the ground. Oh, I see. I'm turning off a things on its leg. 
So that one's now off. So now the head's exposed. Okay, I get it. Eat. Oh, this is cool. The music changed as well. Like, I think the number one thing I can take away from this game is games don't have to be difficult. They could just be heckin' cool. Oh. Like, a spectacle of all those visual effects and stuff. Great. <laughs> of flames is not possible or even expected. <laughs> now we can go extra horns of flames. <laughs> is this enough extra horns for you? <laughs> uh, North American premium 80s D&D with the moral path. <laughs> uh, that's like... In hindsight, the uh, satanic panic was very silly. When it's actually going on, oh geez. <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, condemn a bunch of nerds who are just like getting together to pretend to be uh, an elf to go like save people. Uh, yeah, that, that's just, that's evil. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was cool. Oh. Slightly difficult to get those uh, like, rings back there, but I'm liking this. Like sideways, uh, like it's like a 2D rail section, but it's in the overworld, which I haven't bumped into before. Oh. Oh god, it's an angel! <laughs> Ow! You fuck! How do I target her? Wait, what? How do I kill it? I can't target her! Uh, training simulator? All moral panics are like that though, yeah. Use parry to bounce back the beam. Oh, okay. Grab this again. How do I parry again? Not that button, nope. Not that one. No, which button's the parry button? Ah, there we go. Fast parry. Get dunked on. Where'd it go? Wait, what? Okay. Uh, you're not going back to land, are you? No, we're dying out to sea now. Hmm. Wait, can I control? I can control it. Oh, we have a we have a bird. I think we've already gone like way too far down, but we have a bird. Yeah, we're crashing into this wall. <laughs> Oh, that was great. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Oh, heck. Good morning, Penloba. Koi hoi. Oh. There we go, that's how you kill it. <laughs> that enemy's cool, but like, wow. Okay, we have a Bouton. Bouton does stuff. 
and things. Uh, oh, a level. No, it's a, we've had a fishing spot. I've been trying to find a fishing spot for ages. It was like really difficult to find. I like, uh, I couldn't see any in the Knuckles area, but like this area seems to have one. There has to be one in the second level, right? Hey, Sonic. Welcome back. Ah, uh, I was kind of hoping that there would be would like, like try? more Let fishing spots. Instead, it's like the same fishing spot in a different place. There is one on every island. Yeah, I was guessing there would be. Like, I'm guessing the only difference here is there's different fish, but like, this looks identical to the pond we were fishing in before. Heck, I done goofed. Uh, let's try that again. I forgot how the fishing worked. Boop. Oh, we got a crab. I love Big's reaction every time you fish up with anything. It's just like, wow. That's like an entire crab. <laughs> Gotcha. Why is there an angler fish in this pond? This is not salt water. That fish was suffering. <laughs> Hold up. There should not be that in there. Different fish, the pot crust increases, but the tokens you get for each one increases. Okay. Oh. That was more difficult. That was cool. We got an entire gold card. Imagine like, oh, what is happening with the lighting there? Wow. <laughs> Imagine like burying your treasure in a lake and then like some hedgehog comes around, mistakes it for a fish and fishes it up, only to find that you used a massive wooden box just to store a small ticket inside. <laughs> I'm not saying they got their packing tips from Amazon, but they might have got their packing tips from Amazon. <laughs> Heck, I should do a Final Fantasy uh, 15 fishing stream at some point. I've been saying this for like a year and I haven't done it. <laughs> like, I should just like stream Final Fantasy 15. Like, you know, after Fossil Frontiers, I think we stream uh, Final Fantasy 15. Like, <laughs> I've been wanting to do it for, like, as I said, like over a year and I just keep pulling it off. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Why Darkling are back? Because someone mentioned uh, <laughs> Satanic Plus, <laughs> extra horns of fire. <laughs> so we have extra horn and the closest thing I could get to Brimstone. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll do a hydrate. Uh, best part about doing a hydrate at the moment. I have water as well, but I've gotten uh, some Glitterberry j <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Water for the slime. Oh no, the glitter's all settled to the bottom. <laughs> Legit though. I heckin' love the uh, glitter berry. Like, uh, they had it like a while back as like a Christmas promotional item. And then, like my uh, speak of salt water, I uh, I said you what I thought uh, caught at this fishing spot. Hold up, what what is this? What did you fish up here? What the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but it's a ridiculous, and I hope we get one soon. <laughs> but yeah, glitterberry, like it was like a J two O like promotional thing, uh, like a while back for Christmas. Uh, my mom got me some for Christmas and then I was like, yeah, I heckin' like this. And then I couldn't get hold of any more. Uh, <laughs> and like, uh, uh, yeah, like recently I like popped into an Asta, so I was like, holy heck, they're selling it. I'm gonna grab a pack of this. There's a lot of chests in here. How many do I have? I've got like one bottle left. I got like a four pack, uh, and uh, that was the uh, third one. 
Luna has nothing. Yeah, I, I don't own anything. I own absolutely nothing. This is a uh, an old YouTube music re-upload video now. Uh, I own nothing. <laughs> Anyone remember that? Just like <laughs> the description of like old like. And people would just straight up like post like pirated music on YouTube and uh, they would just put in a description which completely, absolutely totes gets rid of all legal implications of the fact that you're copying someone else's uh, stuff. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> they just pull in, I own nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, it's sparkly. No! <laughs> I hacked up! Can we get the same one again, please? That's the same one again! Okay, we got it! <laughs> what was it? Oh, it's a scroll! I mean, oh, it's a scroll! We got fast traveling! Yay! <laughs> Also, I'm really glad that some of the later fishing spots end up being uh, more expensive. Wait, excuse me, Big? I want to be on this menu. Don't don't knock me off this without me pressing any buttons. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that the future fishing spots end up costing more because uh, the, you end up with so many other fishing coins when you do the... Uh, Star Shard event thing. Oh, Tails is here. Okay. Get the egg memos. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> Chaos Emerald Bolt Keys. Yeah, sure. I'll grab like one of those. Grab a couple more of these. Grab another one of these, and we'll spend the last two getting like more skill pieces. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Uh, let's go to the Fisherpedia. How many voice logs do we have now? Well, a heck ton. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Run a diagnostic on the recorded <laughs> genetic the ancients, and then I want us to <laughs> redeem do. So. uh... Oh, if you unlock the entire map, you get the uh, ability to fast travel between portals? Nice! But yeah, that redeem basically makes it so that we go to remote-only chat, and the only thing that anyone is allowed to post is... that. <laughs> or we just spam that. <laughs> Boop the bold! Hello, Masonic! Hoi hoi! Oh! Ah! <laughs> there was a duck, I think. I think it was a duck. It sounded like a duck. It might have been a duck. Oh? Fast travel to Coco was being unlocked, but like, we can't see the Coco because we have none of the map unlocked. <laughs> the entire map is still locked. Uh... Also, this Chow mod is the best. Like, the animation isn't quite fair because they're still doing the Coco animations, but the sound effects are great. What is this thing? Oh, for a second I thought there was like a weird jigsaw puzzle piece. I was like, that doesn't feel like it fits on a Sonic game. That's weird. <laughs> uh, oh. Anything up here? I wonder. The Monster Hunter Collab DLC broke the fishing spot. The barbecue spit is a free way to get fishing tokens. So tasty! <laughs> oh! And we're up, okay. So we get a Tails memory token. And another gear. Okay, we're like sorted for like unlocking levels now, I guess. Oh, jeez. Okay. Where to next? I want to do some more levels. Uh, is there any that we can spot to unlock? What is that thing flying in here? That's cool. I want to go say hi to it. It's a giant fly thing and it looks like a dragon. Uh, 
Oh. Can I... Ugh. Wow, that, that ring trail is a pain. I was trying to do the uh, light speed dash on it and it's just like, nope. Not allowed. Yeah, no, straight up just not allowed to use light speed dash on that. Hello there, Koopo. How's the coolest kobold on Twitch? I don't know about coolest kobold on Twitch, but I'm definitely one of the kobolds on Twitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, heck, they dropped a, a red buff and we lost it. That, that was going to be really hard to get anyway, but like, I wanted that red buff. Red buff is slightly more interesting and enticing than the weird dragon that was in the air. Speaking of which, where'd the dragon go? Uh Oh, there's a thing. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'll take all of those, thank you very much. Uh, oh. Search friends. Oh yeah, we're probably going to go find Tails. Wait, dodge? Dodge what? Oh, these guys are red. He says are red and have shields. Ah, that's what we're dodging from. That's intimidating. Ow. Gotcha. There are more cobalt tubers? Yeah, there's multiple cobalt bee tubers. You got uh, myself as Jade. Uh, who else we got? There's... Touch Scaly Tail, I can't ever remember their name. I, like, Tikri, that's it. I always forget their Tikri's name and I'm not sure why. Like, I really like Tikri's model and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I keep forgetting Ben name. Uh, yeah, the Sprig. Uh, who else is there? There's a lot of cobbled VTubers, actually. Oddly enough, a lot of us all started around the same time. Oh jeez, what have I just found? What is this thing? That was weird. Oh no! Wait, no! Go back! No! Heck! <laughs> uh, yeah, they said tech creep. Um... I try to think of like other cobbled VTubers, because like, I know there's definitely a couple more. Coffee cobbled! Yeah, coffee cobbled exists. Um... Yeah, you if you ever get back into streaming. I forgot you did streaming, but... Because uh, you mentioned that beforehand. Oh, how do I get those coins? I, I would really like those coins, please, game. Salem? I've never heard of Salem, but it's new to me. Uh, oh, and technically, I don't know if you count them, but Tori Floop uh, now has a cobalt model. Uh... Oh. Nice, I think we got like enough of these tails things now. Also do this level, because like I I'm itching to do some more levels. Tori is cool regardless, yeah. Like I always see them as either like the cat or the uh the protogen, but they have so many different models. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of them. Like, to be honest, like, uh, if I had, like, the resources to be able to just, like, pick up a bunch of models, I would probably have as many, uh, bottles as Tori flew, but I'm slightly more strained on that and I'm, like, quite happy sticking to this one. Uh... There we go. We'll go back to regular Luna. Wilson and Kashak? I never heard of those two. Uh, Calf made their model? Nice! Oh, this music. I love, like, that, like, oh, what's it called? Phaser? Or, like, Flange? Or something? I can't remember what that, the sound effect's called. I love that in music. <laughs> I don't know what it is, it's just, it sounds good. I enjoy. Mew! <laughs> Oh. Curious about the possum and dog models. Yeah, so the possum model, uh, 
the context that I was playing VR chat and I kept getting called a possum whilst I was using a model of Xiao from Dark Cloud. And uh, I found out why that was. Basically, I had a, uh, a fullback model on for like this possum girl and I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> So everyone who was on like a quest was seeing me as this possum instead of my actual model. My actual model doesn't work on quest uh, at all. It, I can't get it to work on now. I can't optimize it hard enough without completely butchering it. So I made a fallback that just has no features at all now. So that's now what my model looks like on VR chat. Uh, oh, what's, what is happening? We're dead, I guess. Okay. Uh. Uh, but uh, yeah, the dog model, basically, I have a another Sona that like, has been in the back of my head for a while. It's not particularly one that I'm sure if I like identify with, uh, at least not anymore, but uh, she was a Bull Terrier called uh, Roxanne. And I'm currently working towards potentially just free me demodeling her so I can use her in VR chat. Uh, there's an Australian Cobble VTuber. Heck yes. Also, I just saved that. I don't know how I just saved that, but I saved that. <laughs> oh no. We're playing uh, White Forest now. <laughs> oh, head pats, yes. But yeah, I don't know. I, I really want to be able to uh, play VR chat as Roxanne. I think it could be nice. Uh, like, her entire like aesthetic is she's. Uh, like a, uh, uh, she wears like a motorcycle leathers with like red and black aesthetic. She has like the uh, white fur and she's got a, a motorcycle helmet with like these, uh, like the ear, like, um, speaker things. Uh, she's like a, what would you call it? Like an anti, uh, like cybernetically enhanced criminal kind of like, uh, military esque person, I guess. Uh, it was like part of like this whole like game I was working on beforehand that never got finished. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I want to go back there. I want to like get the other keys. <laughs> and yeah, she uses like dual pistols and her uh, her motorcycle helmet has like the protogen style like uh, face animations. <laughs> I did it, I like accidentally copied the uh, protogen thing before I knew what a protogen was. <laughs> the smallest, most dangerous looking cobbled on the planet, yes. It's just a 30 inch tall, highly venomous, very aggressive kobold. <laughs> I am 100% here for it. Let's try again S rank this time. Hello? Nice. No, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Just yeet myself into the abyss is fine. Absolutely okay. Okay, I got this. So I got this this time. Absolutely got this. Watch this. New. Oh. Uh, your last uh, save file was a just gone fishing run. Uh, oh. I bet the tutorial got all the keys I need to do with a save loop for buying them from Big. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it is technically possible to finish this game just from fishing. That's kind of cool. Like, there's a bunch of, like, alternate methods of getting hold of stuff in this game that I'm kind of here for. Like, you got the fishing minigame to get, like, uh, collectibles, or you can just run around the main world and do stuff. You can do these levels to get things. But you don't actually even need to do these to progress the game, really. And there's one mandatory one, but the rest are all optional. Hopefully we still got time to get the S rank. Maybe? I hope. Ice Trank, please. I tried my best. Heck yes. <laughs> One second to spare. 
Uh, the first exposure you had to cobbles were the ones in Suikoden 1, and those cobbles were more teddy bear like. Yeah, like Asian uh, cobbles are more like fluffy and dog like and more mammalian. Whereas, because uh, they took basically, from my understanding, uh, cobbled was first a thing in like uh, Germany, where it's like a, a generic term for like fey folk, uh, like goblinoids, that kind of stuff. But like, a cobbled was like this weird rat like. A lizard thing with a dog nose that got adopted by D and D. D and D then proceeded to turn it more reptilian and then more reptilian and then more reptilian until you end up with ones like this. However, the East got hold of the words dog-like and rat-like and decided that oh, cobbles are like these like weird humanoid dog things that steal children. <laughs> and that's where you get the uh, Japanese cobbled from. Let's try and get the uh, 150 rings uh, of one, and then we'll be done with this level. Uh, little scaly thieves uh, cobbled uh, in Germany. <laughs> I think there is a. Is there a German cobbled VTuber? They got like the whole like knight aesthetic or something going on. They usually play Dark Souls. Jeez. <laughs> They usually play Dark Souls, I think. Your first introduction to Cobbles was a webcomic? Nice, which one? Like, my first introduction to Cobbles was probably... I think it was D&D. Like, I'd never seen a Cobbled in another uh, piece of media before. Right. No! I'm trying to get on the area below because there's like uh, stuff down there I want. Apparently it's way more difficult to get under there than I thought it would be. Let's try going this way. Maybe this way is better for it. Oh. Uh, it was either Cole or some other comic. Oh! Monsters can be heroes too. Yes! I love that comic. Cole is adorable. Uh, my DM describing Cobbles for having no fear and breaking into a house just to say hello. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, okay. I know how to get those rings underneath now, and I know some good uh, routes for getting rings, so let's like stick to those. <laughs> Nice. I wonder if that route I just take took is like technically faster or something. Okay. Uh, look how angry she is. I'm angry. <laughs> nah, I don't feel angry. <laughs> Okay, so we got 35 rings. Just carefully grab these as best we can, because that's a lot of rings right there. Yeah, we just need another 45 and then we're good, we can finish the level. Uh... Oh. Nice. And... So where are these last rings? We need... what is that, like 28? 28 is like nothing. We got that. I think we're just about to approach... yeah, another one of these. No! Ah, uh, that's fine. There's more rings. We can, we can make it up. I really needed those for her. <laughs> Okay, we just need 10. We need 10 more rings. <laughs> Hello, Liz. Hoi hoi. <laughs> no. <laughs> we needed 10. If I got one more of those 10 rings on the way there without falling off, we would have been good. Also, I just accidentally quit the level. 
You know, it's fine, we'll come back to it later. <laughs> it's not important. We don't need those uh, keys, like, super urgently at the moment. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so... We need to go find Tails. It was way over there, but I just got stuck on a 2D section, so... Oh, or I could fall off a 2D section, that also works. Oh. Yo. Right, so we have Tails over here. Uh... Where are you? There you are. And no, do I have enough things to unlock you yet? Hang tight, little bro. I won't make you wait much longer. Okay, we need two. Hang tight, We're too bro. short. I won't make you wait much longer. <laughs> we need two more. <laughs> uh, the last time I played D D was a couple called Blep for Brilliant. <laughs> And I learned, learned that nickname in game by telling my party that cobbles were followed. Following can't. The cobbles we were following can't see anything if they're looking up at the sunlight, so our Arakroka bard could follow them unseen by flying. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> okay, we need one more. Uh, there it is. Okay. We can go get Tails now. Oh, what's over here? Maybe before this is like 10 tokens just in the floor. <laughs> um, yeah. This, how strange would it be if it was 10 tokens in the floor? My tracking is frozen because my battery is dying on my phone. Hold up. You know what really helps when you're charging your phone? is if you actually remember to turn the charger on. Uh, if you turn the charger on, you can receive power from the wall socket directly into your phone. Top tip of the day. <laughs> Hello there, tail. Singular tail. <laughs> in my breath. Hmm. He never stops. Clarification. He never gives up. The spatial anomaly that affected us seems to have left me in a digitized state. But those same energies are manifesting into some worrisome mutations for you. Those sure are words you said just now. <laughs> I'm saying I'm fine. You're not. And I'm worried. I'll be fine. And I need this power to rescue you. He's even enduring the cyber corruption better than I calculated he would. You're always rescuing me, and let's focus on the now. What do you need? Chaos Emeralds. Think you can help me track them down? I'm on it. Oh, jeez. It's so sad someone so impressive will be lost in the end. It's... It's not fair. I really like uh, Sage as a character. You are the key. Be empowered with this technique. Like, I don't know, Sage seems really interesting. Like, I like the whole, like, uh... Father daughter, uh, like, uh, what, what was it called? Father daughter dynamic she has with Eggman, and like her interactions with Sonic are pretty interesting. Where she's got like the whole like technological, like, I don't understand love, I don't understand what you're doing or why you're doing it. You're not fighting just for your own, like, uh, like self preservation. This is, it seems foolish. What are you doing? At the same time, she's just like, I have some humanity going on in my mind because of all this like weird like data I have in my head. I just can't make sense of it. 
I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got this now. How do I... Oh! Not like that, but that that's cool as well, I guess. So when we find an enemy, I guess we're just going to completely decimate them. Can I get off of this? Oh, there's a... There's a Tails token back there we didn't get. Hold up. How did I miss that? Like underneath here. How would I? Oh, I think I have an idea. So I think to get that, I need to do this. There we go. And I missed that one, but that's fine. Um. Also, I wasn't so sure about more mature Sonic at first, but like, it is very growing on me. Like, he sounds different, he's acting different, but like, I don't know, it's it's a different take on Sonic, I'm actually really okay with it. Um, and I get up there. I don't think I can. Oh well, wait. I, I targeted something. Something up there that's targetable. But I do want that token. There we go. <laughs> what? An enemy? I don't think I've seen a shinobi before. I've seen a ninja, but that's different. Okay. What are you trying to do? Oh! Okay, this thing is dangerous, noted. That killed me? I didn't even notice it hit me. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> no? But can I just parry this? <laughs> Get parried, you casual. <laughs> okay, that's how we deal with these things. Wait, did it drop anything? It did drop something. I need that. <laughs> I need this. There's another Eggman building over there. Uh, no. Oh, both those dropped memory tokens, but one of them's fallen into the ocean. That sucks. Oh, let's unlock some of the map. Because, like, the map at the moment is, like, very, uh, well, um, the map is, isn't, uh, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, so what's this? Carry the bullets. That's easy. Hold down two buttons for, like, a moment, I guess. <laughs> Oh, there's a chow over there. I should go collect that. Okay, so that's not a very useful area of map, but it does show us where the uh, Coco Sage is. We should probably go say hi to him. Uh, so you're over that way. I've also got another map unlocked to get over here. So yeah, let's go this way. Oh, hello there. Can I just cheese this entire encounter by doing this? It kind of looks like it. OK, 
Okay, that new move is cool. <laughs> I completely forgot to try it out. Yeah, that, that's the new one we just got by unlocking Tails. Oh. I want to go that way. Look at that. There's so many, like, purple coins here. I need these. Uh, is there anything else on here, though? Doesn't look like it. Okay. In which case, what is this way? We have... Ooh. Okay, there was a Tails memory token. So where are we now? So the Elder Coco is over that way. The map unlock is this way. Let's get some more map. What have we got to do for this one? Uh... Oh, it's another one of these, really? We just did this. It's an easier one at that. That's weird. Oh, by the way, uh, has anyone been keeping up with, uh, like, uh, this game's, like, news feed and stuff on, like, I don't know, social media or, like, wherever it is? We're getting DLC next year for free. Which will add Tails, uh, Sage, Knuckles, and Amy as playable characters. And I'm really hyped for it. Like, it's just extra added story and stuff. Uh, there's also a bunch of other content that's coming next year as well. Uh, like, I know there's like a jukebox mode. Uh, we're getting like a new kind of Coco. Uh, there's like a bunch of other stuff they're just like showing off. Oh, it's just this level. I was going to say, like, we haven't done this level yet? Well, what is this? It's, just, it's this one. We haven't got the rings on it yet. Uh, I guess let's go say hi to the uh, the Korok. Or Coco, or whatever it is. The collectible man. Oh yeah, so a bunch of mods have like been updating and stuff for this game. There's been some really cool ones, like uh, there's like an entire conversion of this game slowly being worked on that turns it into a Klonoa game. And uh, we're also now having a uh, mod that just replaces all of the sound effects of just like someone loudly yelling. <laughs> like I can't remember who it was meant to be based on, but like I guess he was like a streamer or something and they just like used his voice to replace all of Sonic's uh, sound effects and uh, lines. <laughs> like every time you pick up a ring it just says I got a ring! Ew. What is this? Oh, whatever it was it's broken now. Uh, I thought it was like a marshmallow or something. <laughs> Does the marshmallow want a stick? That's a thing. What is it with food on a stick? Like, that just seems to be like a genre of food that's like semi-common. Because you have like hot dog on a stick and like, uh, what else? Like cotton candy on a stick or like donut on a stick. Stuff like that. Rock candy on a stick. Why do people keep pulling food on sticks? <laughs> There's something green over there. What was that? Oh, it's just this. I thought it was like, like a green collectible I hadn't seen before and I was like, oh, hold up, that's new. <laughs> Let me get some of that. Yeah, also another thing with the uh, update to this game. Uh, people have been really mean on social media from what I've been seeing. And just being like, oh, the game's unfinished. So, like, they're going to finish it like next uh, uh, year, I guess, with DLC. That's not good enough. But it's like, hold up. They released a finished game. You can finish this game from start to finish. The entire game is here. They're adding extra content to the game. And you're complaining that the game isn't finished yet because we're getting post-game content for free? <laughs> And yeah, stuff on a stick is probably like less mess, but in that case, uh, may I introduce you to the concept of uh, a food that is a thing with stuff in it. <laughs> like a thing with stuff in it is definitely one of my favourite kinds of food. 
like mochi and uh, uh, what are they called? Oh, I can't remember. Samosa. Samosas and like stuff like that. Yeah, do you even know what DLC is exactly? That's like saying that uh, Age of Empires 1 wasn't complete because it wasn't Gold Edition. <laughs> yeah, most games are unfinished. Uh, you, you have to pay the DLC to finish them, even if the DLC is free. <laughs> Mind you, saying that, there is a game I've experienced where I'm just like, this game felt really unfinished before they added the DLC. Monster Hunter. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise. Definitely feels like it's not finished. Uh, like, uh, until they added like all of the free like uh, content updates later on and they added on like the Sunbreak expansion and all this stuff. The game was so short and had such a tiny roster. It had less monsters in it when it released than Monster Hunter Tri did. That was on the Wii. That was like my first experience of Monster Hunter. <laughs> like, yes, I've probably been spoiled by uh, uh, Generations Ultimate having like the biggest roster of any Monster Hunter game ever. At the same time, 12 monsters in a Monster Hunter game? I don't think it was 12, but it was like, it was, it was a small number anyway, it was something like that. Uh, DLC is extra optional content, not as important as the main game most of the time, yeah. Show me that damage, baby! 800? Really? I thought we did way more than that. Maybe it just like caps off at 800, but like... <laughs> I don't know, I was really proud of that combo chain. I thought I was doing a really good job and I'm just like, only 800? <laughs> Yeah, we have a bunch of a map unlocked now. Uh, where do we go to next? Oh, there's a boss fight over here. Go do that. Uh, oh. Okay. Where's this boss fight? Oh, there's also another map unlock over here. There's also a green space. That's cool. What was that? Oh, it's that thing! It's the weird dragon thing I was trying to find beforehand. It's over here. Oh, it's huge. Hold up. That thing is big. How do I get up to it? Uh... Not like that. That don't work. Its wings are clipping through the environment quite a bit, but that's understandable for how big it is. Oh, it's one of the- it's a bigger version of the squid! That's cool! I don't think uh, people made an argument for games like Dark Souls 3 or, uh, yeah. People do just shit on Sega. Like, yes, Sega has kind of been not releasing the best Sonic games over the years, but they're getting better. I do want to see things Sega like cares about its fans and is trying to do good. It's just they're not really able to cater to so many fans with so many different tastes. Because there's a lot of different opinions of what a good Sonic game is out there. Are you kidding? I got a Phantom Rush and then it immediately knocked me off. They care about their fans uh, for, uh, more, yeah, more than other companies, like, legit. When was the last time you heard of, like, uh, Sega, like, absolutely crapping on a fan for making, like, a not-for-profit fan game? If anything, they encourage it. They advertise other people's fan games on their platforms. But then you've got people like Nintendo who are just like, oh, you made, like, a, a Pokemon fan game, you're not making any money off of. Yeah, no, this somehow damages our assets, and uh, therefore we're going to just, like, cease and desist you. 
<laughs> uh, what, what's that? A, a like a, a fifteen-year-old like uh, novice coders like getting into coding and stuff, and they're just having fun making a like a, a small game with like Pokemon in it. Have to have Pokemon and like the oh, no, it's just like a platformer game or something like that, or like a simple RPG. Yeah, no. Uh, cease and desist them. Get rid of them. <laughs> Send that kid to jail. They've committed horrible crimes. <laughs> Ah, uh, Nintendo, why? You used to be cool. Yeah, like, Sega's like, uh, support of their fans is actually amazing. Yeah, Sega is uh, definitely one of the only companies out there that actively embraces their fan work. Like, I'd say the exception to that would be uh, there's some indie companies that became like fully fledged companies later on in their lifespans, uh, which have always fundamentally been like, yes, we love our fan content, we love people making content for our game, we think this is really cool, like other people expanding on our content is really cool, uh, but like, oh jeez, like, Anyway, Sonic is good. <laughs> what is this? What have we got here? Ah, it's one of these. I messed up already. Oh, I see where I need to go. Smart bold. <laughs> Ten out of ten, wood brain again. <laughs> oh, you're kidding! Most of the map unlock there was the ocean. There's nothing there. It's all water. Nothing good has ever come out of the water in a Sonic game. Oh, please, Monster Hunter and water. There's like very strong opinions some people have of the uh, that uh, combination. Like Monster Hunter try. Did a bunch of new stuff and people didn't like it. I thought the underwater combat was crap myself. However, I really think they should give like underwater combat in Monster Hunter a try again. Uh, <laughs> the pun there, try. Um, <laughs> but uh, legit, I think the modern Monster Hunter could probably do uh, underwater combat really good. It's like the mobility options and like how more fluid the combat and stuff is now. I think could really support it. I don't know. Maybe I don't know my Monster Hunter good enough to say otherwise, but I have played every single Monster Hunter game uh, aside from the first one, so I don't know. <laughs> I also really miss uh, Medium Bowgun. Like, I feel like Capcom is one of these companies along with Nintendo, not, well, not Nintendo, I mean like Pokemon Company, who re release a new gimmick for a, uh, a game and then just drop it. Like, I think Capcom is more likely to keep them on if it's really good and the fans are enjoying it. Uh, whereas Pokemon will just drop one because they was like, oh no, this is just for this generation, we're not keeping it for like future ones. Uh, but like, I feel like if a, a mechanic isn't good, rather than trying to refine it, uh, Capcom with Monster Hunter just seems to just be like, yeah, nah, we're just getting rid of it, we're giving up. Uh, we'll do something else. It's like, oh, okay. Not even gonna attempt to like make underwater combat fun? Nah, we're getting rid of it. Like, I think it would have been cool if we could have had uh, like, optional underwater content, maybe? Like... What's this button do? Oh, okay. Uh, cause like, uh, Monster Hunter Rise, for example. Oh, hey, the uh, Soul Honey. Nothing much. Oh, excuse me, you. Like, Monster Hunter Rise had like, uh, has a bunch of ways to circumvent other st uh, stuff that used to be mandatory and make the game a lot easier if you choose to use it, which is absolutely cool. I'm very here for that. But, uh, like, oh. I feel like if they introduced uh, underwater combat as something that you could gel around if you didn't want to do it, they could then like test the waters <laughs> um, to be able to uh, like see if it would work again. But I don't think they're gonna do it. 
Also, I am on fire with these puns today. <laughs> Third time. <laughs> I don't know, the fact that you could just ride and control those birds is really cool. Why am I stuck on 2D? I want to go that way. No. Wait, stop. <laughs> Master Supreme. <laughs> and know that tail. This is not an ideal working condition. If I just had my body, I could be so much more efficient. Amy said she felt like she was in a dream. Does that sound about right? That's pretty accurate. I can think clearly and I'm aware, but there's no physicality to it. Everything feels just out of reach. Do you think that's why the ancients made the cocoa? Oh. To have something real to put their spirits into? It's one hypothesis. That's cool. We certainly can't rule it out. That'd be a really interesting thing, because like we got this whole thing of like cyberspace and like jumping into virtual reality and stuff. What if the ancients discovered immortality through like shoving their body they're shoving their souls into machines and stuff? But then realizing that when they're trapped in cyberspace, they can't really do anything because they can't interact with the world. So we're just like, okay, what if we make like these vessels for our bodies so that uh, we can interact with stuff outside of it? Because like we've seen what the Coco are. Uh, they're not just these little like uh, rock things. Uh, they're like, they look like chaos basically. <laughs> what was that sound effect? <laughs> they look like chaos with like the whole like water body and the long like uh, things coming up the back of the head and stuff. I love the design for the Cocos, like they're really cool. Uh, yeah, I did mention this was going to be a shorter stream. I'm really tired and I want to take a break. We're going to go find saving and they- excuse me, I, I would like to save my game. Okay, we're running somewhere where we can save. Can I save now? But yeah, we're gonna go find someone to raid. Uh, as soon as the game allows me to save, because currently it's being a butter be like, no, that's illegal. <laughs> save over that one, not my private save, because I don't want to lose that progress. Uh, and yeah, back to title screen. So who have we got available to raid today? Uh, so we have... Uh... Do we raid? Let's go after Pickleberry. They're currently playing some Scarlet and Violet. Oh geez, they're like far in the game, so I'm probably not going to like uh, be there myself because I don't want spoilers. Uh, I haven't gotten to the end of the game myself, but you guys go say hi to them for me. Uh, so yeah, uh, not tomorrow, Sunday. Sunday we're going to be playing some Don't Starve with Liz again, and Monday we'll have some more Monster Hunter. Until then, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye!